All right, so you've got your leg weights nearby. You know, I'm gonna say threes, fives, I have twos, so I don't know where my threes are. So we'll do what we gotta do. Take a big breath and bring your arms up overhead and then fold down, sweep the floor. Nice shirt, Deb. Bring your arms up. I, uh, I remember that shirt well. I looked it up because you are one hot yogi. Okay, take it up. Good, let's do two more like that. Bend the knees, sweep the floor, take it all the way up. And by the way, you can sweep my floor for it. Exhale, bend the knees, sweep the floor. Come up, and this time as you come down to the floor, take your hands onto your toes, bend your knees, look forward, and straighten your legs. You can put your hands on, this, on um, a table, a chair, uh, thighs, or anywhere you need to be. In three, we're gonna keep the hips down low too. And in one, stay low, and then stretch your arms out to the side. Good. Just drop your hips down, pulse down. We're gonna. So what we're gonna do today? Bring your arms behind you. Stretch your arms away from you. Is we're gonna do a low impact intensity class, meaning fold forward. The it's low impact. There's a little bit of a heart rate increase. Light weights and uh, doable, pretty much for everybody here. Take your hands down. We'll combine that with a little bit of um, upper body work, some dedicated stuff like that. Come back through the center, take it up and over to the other side. So no bouncing, no mountain climbers, just some good old fashioned, maybe some fun. Come back through the center to the other side. Come back to the center to the right leg, bend the right knee, put the hands onto the right foot, and then stretch the right arm up and open up twist. Reach your arm up. Straighten your front leg or your right leg. And then walk back down to the center. Bend your left knee, hands on the left leg or the left foot. Left arm comes up, open twist. And then straighten the leg. Rebend the knee. And come back to center with straight legs. Walk your hands a little bit forward. Weight back towards your heels but soften your knees. Little short downward facing dog. And then walk your hands all the way back underneath your shoulders. Walk your feet in together. Roll up through your spine. I'm just going to move that up a little bit. And come up to standing with your arms up. And let's go ahead and grab those lighter weights. Okay. So the first exercise, is we're going to do three rounds of everything. Um, we're going to just step tap to the side. If you can sit down into it, sit down into it. We're going to step tap and we're going to bring the arms out and down with it. All right, we've got 30 seconds of that, then we're going to alternate or do both arms together, front raise. If, you're, if your weights are light enough, you can do it um, with a nice light weight. All right, we're going to get started in three, two, bend your knees, sit down low, one. So step touch to the side and bring it in. Just keep going until I tell you otherwise. Shoulder height, keep the legs moving, tap to the side, bring the arms up and out to the side. By the way, we're doing three rounds and there's no break until the end. You got 10 seconds, so your shoulders are gonna be happy today. You can jump it if you want, you can jump into it. You got five seconds in three, two, and one. Stand up, front raise, either alternate arms or go two arms together. So here's an alternating, and here's two arms together. You can do a combination of both. Same thing, we're gonna keep repeating this. Round two is coming up, shoulder height only. Strong arms. You got 10 seconds here. Round two in five. In three, two, and one. Step tap. Step tap, get low. Sit as low as you can. Work your weight back behind your knees, behind your heels. There you go, Rob. You can do this, guys. Good. Good. Just a little spike of the heart right here. Shoulders are going to feel it, however. You got 10 seconds. Back to the arms in three. Not yet. Three. Two. And one. Arms up and down. You can go alternating. You can even go across the body like a diagonal. And I'm going to tell you right now, I'm happy I'm using my weights. Right about now. Right about now. All right, you're 
toes on my big screen there you go 10 more seconds we got last round happening abs are nice and strong in three we go back to step tap two one here we go step tap again you can jump it side to side yeah there you go whatever makes you happy and you're about halfway there Oh, you guys are freezing on my big screen. Not you. Ten seconds. I hope the big, the other screens don't freeze. You got five seconds. Last set. Three, two, and one. Stand up. Front raise. Right up in front of you. Good. That's it. You can hinge a little forward if you need, rather than hinging back. Okay. You've got 15 seconds. Yeah, welcome. Five seconds. In three, in two, and one. All right, you can put the weights down. I'll show you your next exercise. Show you down. So we're gonna lift our knees and tap underneath with the weights, palms face, uh, thumbs face each other. So knee up underneath. Then we're going to take the arms and we're going to bring them out to the side and up overhead. Now you can do this a couple ways. You can turn your palms open to start and palms in to end, or you can keep them in the whole time if your shoulder allows for that movement there. Okay, so a combination of either or. You got 20 seconds, we're going to go back to this. So as you lift your knees up, your arms go underneath, they tap, and hopefully you're um, using some light weights for that. All right, I don't know why my TV screen keeps freezing, but I think you're okay on the screen. 10 seconds, alternating legs, arms, shoulder height to underneath the legs in three, two, and one. So underneath, it's like a side raise in the arms, again. <laughs> but palms are facing in, keep it going, lift up the knees, Try not to, um, yeah, you look good, guys. Bring your knees up higher. You got 10 seconds, just the arms are coming up. In five, in three, two, one. Now, my palms are facing me as I take them all the way up overhead, or you can turn your palms away and then flip them as you go overhead. Again, hinge a little from the hips so that you're not working into your lower back here. All right, 15 seconds. So whichever way, if your shoulders really don't feel good, and I don't mean good, you know, but if it doesn't feel supported for you to keep your palms down the whole time, that's fine. Turn it around in three, two, back underneath the legs. One, arms, legs, belly in. I know, I'm making a lot of noise here. <laughs> keep it going. 15 seconds, good, pull the knee up to the chest, 10 seconds, you got five, four, three, two, one, arms only, take them overhead and bring them back down, and overhead and bring it back down, overhead, again, you can flip your palms here and flip them on the way up or keep them facing in, depending, again, yeah, just on your shoulders. We got one more set coming up. Ooh. You got five seconds. Four, three, two, and right underneath. 10, no, 10, 10, 30 seconds. Keep it moving. Put the knees all the way up, guys. 15 seconds. Last time. See, it goes really fast. Sometimes. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Arms up. Last time. And bring it down. And bring it up. And bring it down. And bring it up. Keep going. Bring it up. And down. You 
you got 10 from here. And down. Five seconds. In three, two, and one. Good weights down. Take a little break. I'll show you what your next exercise is. And this close to the wall so it can be charged. All right. So now we're going to come into a plie with the arms at our shoulders. We're going to plie down and stretch over one side to the other. Plie. And then we have just a shoulder press. Again, light weights. Okay? So you got 30 seconds. Grab some water. I will. Thanks for the offer. All right. Rack your weights at your shoulders. As you come up from the plie, you stretch to the side. Okay? So prepare. Weights up. They're not heavy. They're light. All right? Just for the purpose of this. All right? So turn your toes out nice and wide. In three, two, go. Plie, press, down, up, down, up. Again, if you want to go slower, that's fine. If you want to get your heart rate up a little bit, pick up your pace and stick with it. Remember, we're only using light weights for most of this today so that we can move faster. You can also tap the foot when you come up or kick the foot when you come up. You got five seconds. Four, three, two. Now plant your feet and do shoulder presses. Anyway, weights are light, so you should be able to get your arms or your hands, shoulders in any position that works for you. Turn your toes out. You can sit into the plie for the 15 seconds or just keep it in a nice little hip hinge or not so much a hinge. 10 seconds. Keep it moving. Yeah, one arm is fine. You got five. Three, two, good, go. Tap, tap, good. You can kick if you want a little bit more, but land in your plie. Yeah, keep going. 10 seconds. The more body parts, the more heart rate. Three, two, and one. Shoulder press. I'm showing you three ways. Anyway, any way you want it. Press it lower. 15 to go. And third and final set coming up. Yeah. So I see your heart rate's getting up. I see you huffing and puffing a little bit. You got five seconds. Three, two, and start again. You can tap it. You can stay with the foot down. You can kick the foot out to the side. All right, you're a little too young to remember. Freddy and the Dreamers. Do the Freddy. Do the Freddy. If you're watching at home, you may be in the age range. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and press. Last round. Woo. There you go. It's like a little jolt of caffeine. And since I can't have any coffee or food this morning till I finish, water is okay. I wouldn't starve myself without water. In five seconds, in three, two, and one. All right, now, here, you can use a heavier weight, if you want. You can just double up your two weights, if you want. And I'm not gonna go too heavy, because I don't wanna stick with that feel, but the first thing you're gonna do is the knee strike. If you're using it, and you don't have to use any weights. Um, if you're using a weight, it's gonna cross the body, as the knee drives up. Now, the leg that stays on the floor stays bent. It doesn't straighten every time you come back. So it's like you're sitting to your left hip, all right? And then all we're doing from there is straight chops without the leg, 30 on, 30 off. Pick up your weight or no weights. 
Right foot is out to the side. Left knee is bent, your weight's behind your left knee. You got five seconds. We're gonna bring it from shoulder to outer hip in three, two, go. Good, remember keeping that left leg bent if you're on that left leg. If you're on the right leg, keep that one bent. I'm gonna change up our twist in a second. You'll see what we're doing. Just a slight difference. Halfway there, you should feel now your left glute kind of having a strong conversation with you. Five seconds. In three, two, one. Now just twist side to side like this, hip to hip. You can still keep up that momentum. We are, you know what? We're gonna switch sides, right? We're just gonna do a bunch of sets though. So the weight's gonna stay in the right leg, weight over the right shoulder to the left outer hip. You got 10 seconds, but we're gonna maintain this in the center when we're done. In five, right leg bends, three, two, one. Now, go, right side, left knee bends, right hip, or right knee bends and stay into it. Keep it moving. This is first set, both sides, or two out of six. You choose. What makes you feel happier? Five more seconds, five. In three, two, one, hip to hip. 30 seconds. Keep your hips steady. Next time we're staying with the weight on the left leg. The left leg. Keep it going. 10 more seconds from here. Looking good, keep the hips steady. You got five. In three, two, and one. Right leg comes up. Keep the left knee bent. More bent, Maria. Yeah, like you're sitting in that left butt cheek in a chair. It might be a high chair for today, but it's okay. Good run. Good Debs. You got this, guys. Five seconds coming up. In three, two, one. Hip to hip. Twist. I don't want to say twist. Rotate. Same thing. Just sounds. Emma, a little safer. Here's twist by Corey. Okay, Siri, I'm talking to you. <laughs> Siri just wants to tell me stuff about twisting, I think. All right, 10 more seconds. Weight is going in the right leg, left leg is the mover. You've got five seconds, three, two, and go. Keep it going. Weight is in the right heel, knee is bent the whole time. Keep moving, keep it moving. I don't need that up here. Cancel. Okay. You got three, two, and one. Go hip to hip. It's okay, Deb. We're all feeling it. We're gonna stay in the left leg shortly. I have some music to start playing through my computer. I don't know what's going on here. I can't really hear it, but it's not in my earphones, but I hear it on the TV. I don't understand this stuff. Five seconds, last time, weight on the left leg coming up. In three, two, one, here we go. Last time. This was a long set, huh? This was six minutes. Or almost six minutes, we're not there yet. But your abdominals are gonna be so happy. 10 seconds. Your hips will be happy when we're done. You'll have happy hips. You got five. In three, two, one. Hip to hip. Last time for this leg. You got one more round. 60 seconds plus this 20. Good. Abs are nice and tight. Bend at the knees. 
Stay strong. Weight's going into the right foot. Left knee is the mover. You got five, four, three, two, and go. Left leg lifts. Remember I told you it was low impact, right? I didn't really lie. Fifteen seconds. Stick with it. You can do this. Ten seconds. You got five, in three, in two, in one, and last time, 30 seconds right here. Go. Do it, do it. I'd love to tell you that this is going down to the floor next, but not just yet. <laughs> 15 seconds. Hang for 10. Let's do it. You've got five. I'm not telling you when it's over, until it's over, and now it's over. Put it down. All right, grab some water. The final set standing is coming up. Back to your light weights. If you choose to have heavier, go for it. All right. So we'll do it without weights. Alternating curtsy with a bicep curl. Curtsy curl, curtsy curl, or you can jump it and jump it if your weights are light. I'm okay with that. All right. And then just fast alternating hammers to keep the heart rate up a little bit. The weights are light. You want to go heavier for that. It's just a lot of changing up in, in a lot of the time. All right. You got 20 seconds. Get your weights. Again, I'm sticking with light weights today. Just because I designed it. Yeah. All right. 10 seconds. Curtsy, even if you're just tapping back, side to side, right? Or tap and jump in three, two, let's go. So here's a curtsy curl. Keep your hips in close. And, you know, today you can jump it a little bit wider. Good. So you don't have to jump, but you can. 15 seconds, it's a low jump, right? We're not going crazy. 10 seconds. Five, three, two, one. And now, hammer. Alternate arms. Good. Try not to swing the arms behind the back. It's light enough. You don't have to. 15 seconds. And go back to the curtsies. In 10. The palms face each other. In five, we're in the curtsies in three, two, and go. Today you can go wider or you can jump it. So it's more like a skater or just stay low in your curtsies. Ten more seconds. Keep going for five, three, two, and one. Hammers, straight on, alternate, and fast. If you wanna keep the heart rate up a little bit, go a little faster. Of course, it's light, so. Halfway, 15 seconds, and your final set is in 10 seconds. Then you can go to the floor, but it may not. In three, two, one, go curtsy. Go curtsy, go curtsy. Again, jump like a skater with your arms because the weight is light enough. But still secure your abdominals in there. Last five seconds for this set. And then we have our hammers in three, two, one, go. Alternating or straight arm. Keep moving. Good. Hang on. Even if it's like, you know, it gets tiresome. 
You got 10 seconds left. Go in five, in three, in two, and one. All right, to the floor, to the floor, finally, but maybe not. Have a heavy weight if you're using a heavy weight, you just need one of them, or if you want to. So we're gonna start with um, alternating bird dogs. So if you want, and you don't have to, you can have a weight in your right hand and a weight in your left hand. So opposite arm leg, opposite arm leg. We'll do the same thing on our back for the second exercise. Opposite arm leg, opposite arm leg. Let me just tie that up, okay? So from bird dogs to, um, I call it Roach Motel, dead, dead, uh, dead bugs, all right? You can check it out anytime you like, which, by the way, go on sale at 10 o'clock. All right, right arm, left leg, in three, two, Let's go. Right arm, left leg. Left arm, right leg. And if you pick up your pace, you may keep your heart rate up. Belly in. From here, we turn right on our backs. So don't worry about which way you're facing. Just get on your backs. Try not to waste any of those 30 seconds. I know how good you are about that. All right, row, take your time, do what you gotta do. Three, two, one, on your back, let's go. Opposite arm leg, legs can be straight or bent. You're gonna flip right back over, so keep yourself in that contained space. Arm and leg, opposite arm and leg, the arm that comes back over the head. You got 10 seconds, you're back on your knees or standing up. Five, four, three, Two, on your knees, good. Right arm, left leg, or left arm, right leg. Spinal balancing, or bird dogs. They're called all sorts of things. Belly in, stay with it. Just stand up if you have to. It's fine, you can also use a wall. Oh. You're almost there, five seconds. Back on your back in three. Two, and one, there you go. Arms and legs, shouldn't take you more than one or two seconds. Belly in, ribs down. Gearing up for our third and final set here in about 10 seconds. Keep it moving for five, for four, three, two, and one, last time, bird dog, spinal balance, one, and out, switch it up, control, belly in nice and strong, no ski slope backs, good, it's already 10 seconds left, keep it moving, five seconds, you're on your back, in three, two, and one on your backs. Last time, let's do it. Bend your straight leg, arm goes back, belly is in, abs are strong and tight. Last 10 seconds. You got three, two, and one. All right, now, here's where if you'd like to use a heavier weight, you can use a heavier weight, or two. So we're gonna be in a skull crusher position with or without a bridge. Skull crusher to your forehead, if you're using two weights, could be to your shoulders, or both either over your head, but no movement at the shoulder, just the elbows. If you're in a bridge, keep the bridge up. This is your last set, by the way. And then, we're in dips. So your hands are on the floor, the weights, or a table, or a box, or whatever you got. All right? That's where we're going. So grab, if you're using a heavy weight, grab it, or a kettlebell, or two heavy weights, or two light weights, or no weights at all. 
on your back. You choose what you want to do with your hips and how you're going to move your arms as well. Lift your hips up if you're going. Start there in three, two, one. Good. So bend your elbows. That's it. Pull it in. So, yeah, keep your hips up if you're going. Good. There you go. Good. Beautiful, guys. Keep the arms nice and strong. 15 seconds. You can then put your hands on the weights, on the floor. If your weights are small, it doesn't really help too much. And I need you to feel more uncomfortable. But you've got five seconds here. Three, two, one. All right, hands down, hips up, elbows bend. Let's do it. Now this one's going to be more of our cardio burner on this side. Yeah, you can have a leg in the air, cross over, two on the floor. Nothing happening. It's okay. Keep your hips close. 10 seconds. Yeah, this is fun. I'm going to tell you right now. Five seconds. In three, two, and one. On your back. Ah, I hit my nail. I hate when that happens. <laughs> Go right to your shoulder, your triceps. Anywhere you want your legs. If you want a little bit more glute today, go ahead and lift those hips up. Keep them strong. So as you lift up, you know, if you stay up, your body's going to start to release towards gravity, towards the ground. So keep lifting upwards. You only got five more seconds, and we go back to our second set of dips. In three, two, one. Put it down, or take it underneath your hands, and go. Dip. Bend the elbows. Kitty cat dips. I was a cat yesterday. My friend was surprised. She says, but you don't like cats. And yeah, I do like cats. I just, I'd be one better. <laughs> so I was, I was a kitty cat. You should be feeling this in the triceps in three, two, one, and come back down. But I was a black cat, bro. I was actually a smelly cat because of Matthew Perry. I decided to name myself a smelly cat. 15 seconds, keep your hips up. Five seconds, three, two, one. All right, here we go, last time. Ooh. I know, hang in there. I know, Rosner. I gotcha, I gotcha, I gotcha. 15 seconds. I promise I won't do these tomorrow. Yeah. Stay with me, guys, for five. Come on, Debs, you got it. Four, three. I see what you're doing. Two and one. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. That's it. That's all she wrote. Arms back behind you. Interlace your fingers. Put the knuckles to the floor and stretch your chest open. Short, maybe not so sweet. Yeah. I promise you'd be done by 9.15, and you will be done by 9.15, but it's not there yet. Take your right hand behind you, left arm up, and just twist outside your right leg and open up. Keep the knee against the arm. Breathe. Oh, actually, maybe it is 9.15. Let's see. No, it's not. My clocks are at all different times here. Come back to center. Switch to the other side. Come back to center. Hold on to your legs for me. Round your back, chin to chest, and roll down to the back. Keep your left leg up and right leg ankle over knee. Keep your right hand on the inside of the right leg as you press the right knee away from you. Now, take your hand away. Open your arms to a T. Turn your palms open. Move your hips right, let your legs come over to the left, but keep your right foot on the floor. So your knee is bent, your foot's on the floor, and then press your right shin, or ankle it might be, against your left outer leg. And then return one of your hands to the right leg and press it away a little bit more. So you get all that space between your hip and your thigh. 
Release your arms, and then just take it all the way now over to the left side, spinal twist. Come back to center, hug both knees to your chest, pull your belly in, place the right foot on the floor, left ankle above the right knee, take your left hand on the inside of your left leg and press it away, flex your left foot, the right arm can come out to the T. Good, now let go of the leg but keep the action, shift your hips left and let your Feet or your legs fold to the right, but keep your right le uh, left leg on the floor. And then take either hand and just guide the leg away from you, create space. Good, and then release the arm, open the arms back out to a T, and then let both knees just fall over to the right side. Uncross the legs, come back to center, hug your knees to your chest. Round and curl your spine. Take your arms over your head, reach them out, overhead, reach, reach, reach long. Stretch the legs up in the air so that the feet are over the hips, the tailbone's on the floor, belly down, ribs down. Reach your arms towards your feet, grab a hold of your right shin, calf, thigh, lower the left leg down. Lift your head and shoulders up. Lower your head, shoulders down. Both legs up, arms up, reach. And take the left leg, right leg comes down. Head and shoulders come up if you'd like. And release, both legs up, both arms up. Now lift your hips off the floor. Lift your shoulders off the floor. Reach your hands to your feet off the floor in three, two, and one. Hug it in, big spinal twist. Move your legs to the left, bigger than before. Cross it over if you'd like. Inhale back to the center, shift your hips left, knees fall to the right. And from here, just roll up. I'm gonna to turn to face you, but roll up to your hands and knees. Tabletop position. Cat cow, tip your belly off your back, round and curl, push the floor away. Inhale, dip your belly off your back. Exhale, round and curl, push away. And then come to neutral, walk your hands out, chin chest to the floor, or your forehead to the floor, stretch out the front of your shoulders, chest. Inhale, walk the hands under the shoulders, tuck the toes, lift the hips. Downward facing dog. Walk your hands to your feet, folded forward position. I, my feet are wide just because I slip on my mat, so I took them off to the floor. And once again, bring the arms behind your back, interlace your fingers, and take your arms up overhead. Breathe. Shake out your neck, yes, no, no tension. Tuck the chin into the chest, soften the knees. Round up your spine to come all the way up. Stretch the arms up over your head, interlace your fingers, turn the palms inside out, upside down. Lift up and over to the right side. Inhale, back up, up and over to the left side. Oh, your abs are gonna feel nice tomorrow. Inhale, back up. Open up, cactus your arms, stretch it up and open. And then swing your arms over. And give yourselves a big hug and a pat on the back. And you are done for Wednesday, hump day, you're over the hump. Stay home, stay fit, stay home.